It's Erin Logan has more now on the conditions out on the roads. Well, she is live tonight in West Haven along I-95. And Erin, how are things looking there? Darren Ann, this is my spot. I was here last time it was snowing, but this time I will tell you the evening commute is much better. And I actually have been keeping in touch with some people who own snow plowing businesses throughout the day. They tell me earlier this afternoon it was entirely a different story, which is a good reason that school was canceled. So at that time, we caught up with some people who put their boots on, put up with the snow, especially the little ones. When the roads look like this on a Monday and are predicted to look like this again in a day or two, city officials have no choice but to meet and prepare for the worst. From parking bans, extra plows, to letting parents know no school, 10-year-old Julia Casella isn't complaining. My mom said it was good snow, man building snow, so I decided to come out and build a snowman. In fact, she's putting her artistic skills to the test. We gave her an A plus as she recreates a character from a movie you may have seen recently. It's Olaf from the movie Frozen. Here's the picture she printed out to compare. Impressive. From art to let's say gym class, we caught up with these kids working up a sweat, snowshoeing and sledding. There were a few falls, but that's to be expected. Bottom line, parents say they'd rather not have their kids in cars or buses. Safety's always first, you know. I, I know we may have to go to school till the end of July, and I'm hoping that's not the case. Maybe these last few storms will be it for the year, but I'd much rather have her home. And we do do work. I mean, it's not like it's all snowman time. Very educational day for that child. Now, I do want to tell you kids that based on the forecast, you will likely have school tomorrow, but that could change later in the week. That's why we have all the closings and delays on our website, including parking bans, so everybody should pay close attention to those. For now, live in West Haven, Aaron Logan, News 8.